Hello guys welcome back to the channel I hope you are doing extremely fine my name is Prince and you are watching the Tech Stream in this video I am going to show you the latest update of Oxygen OS 12.1 that is C.36 released for OnePlus 8 series and OnePlus 9R so without wasting any more time let's get started so OnePlus recently released Oxygen OS 12.1 build number C.36 for the OnePlus 8 series devices and the OnePlus 9R and this update brings the 5G functionality to these devices which we will talk about in a bit and as you can see I have installed C.36 on my OnePlus 8T. If I go into the about info section, you can see that the build number is C.36 and if you check the security patch, you get the 5th October 2022 security patch. You can install this build using the Oxygen OS updater application and if you have not received the update, you can download the file linked in the description below. Place the file in the internal storage of your device. Then go to about device settings, tap the build number 7 times and now click on the Oxygen OS icon and tap the menu button. Select local install and then select the increment update file make sure you are already on c.35 before installing this one moving on let's run some benchmarks on this build in geekbench the device scores 915 in single core and 3156 in multi core which is a little higher than the last time and these scores were without the high performance mode with high performance mode the device scores 903 in single core and 3044 in multi core i don't understand why the scores are reduced in the high performance mode in cpu throttling test the cpu throttled up to 78 percent of its capacity which is similar to previous build. The scores are almost consistent now. Even Oxygen OS 12.1 is pretty much stable and this is probably the last update of Oxygen OS 12.1 as we already have Oxygen OS 12 open beta for the OnePlus 8 series already. Now let's move on to the change logs of this build. Even though the update size was 700 MB, the changes are very less and by the looks of it, this update feels like it is only made for the Indian region. First we have changes related to the system which says updated to October 5th security patch and that I have shown you earlier in the video. Next the change log for Indian region I should say is the addition of 5G carriers for Jio, Airtel and Vodafone and if I go into the network settings for my sim you can see that in the prefer network type we have the 5G option but I have sims for both Airtel and Vodafone and none of them actually connects to a 5G network. The VI app doesn't show anything related to 5G and inside the Airtel thanks app if you use the 5G checker it says the handset doesn't have 5G. I think this will be fixed in the next update of Airtel thanks app and in my nothing phone one I could see the option for 5G on Airtel Thanks app. So 5G as of now is not working properly but it's just a matter of days before it's available. Now the last changelog is regarding the camera application. Earlier we used to have a very bad stutter or lag when the camera was recording 4K 60fps video and honestly that was very annoying as it made it impossible to use a 4K 60fps camera but now with C.36 this bug has been fixed and you don't get any lags while recording 4K or 8K video. Though this bug is still there in Oxygen OS 13 OB1 and it has been fixed in Oxygen OS 12.1. So that was it for the change logs. The change logs were very few even though the update size was 700 MB. Comment down if 5G network is working for your OnePlus device or not. Subscribe to the channel for more tech videos. Thank you for watching.